Hey everybody, welcome back to For Horse Sake, and I just want to take a quick second because I said I would show you guys a closer look at it because I was very excited to get it. It was the most expensive purchase other than autographs and photo ops that I got at Mad Monster. It is the Evil Dead Necronomicon from Trick or Treat Studios. I still had it in the plastic. And we'll be opening it for you guys. I'm not going to leave it in a box. That's crazy to leave it in a box. But it was $120, and I think it's $119 on the Trick or Treat Studios website, so it was not an upcharge I got for what it retails for, which was very awesome, because it's out of stock. It's on, like, back order or whatever on the site. So if I wanted it from there at their price, I would have been waiting for it, and I only paid a dollar more without shipping to grab it at the convention. So you know, it's got a lot of pieces to take apart. And I know this isn't real leather. It's like a pleather, like you would sit on a pleather couch. But it's cool because it does feel almost like a real leather. Where's the back? Now, there is a little bit of a disappointing... Like, it maybe if they made it a little bit smaller, like thinner. So those pages looked a little bit better, but it looks like a, a trapper keeper, like a binder. Like it would be more like that if it was full of pages, but it's kind of flat. But we get full pages here. Very awesome pages. And each page has something on it, which is very awesome. Pages are made of like a nice thick, uh, like almost like a cardstock paper, and on the it's fringed on the edges, uh, you know, to give it kind of an old feel to it. We got a evil Ed and an evil Ash in here. This is very awesome. There's about 20 or so uh, full color pages in here that have something on them. And then you got the covers right here. So if you ever met Bruce Campbell, you could totally open this up and let him sign the inside right here. Plenty of space. But a very cool piece from Trick or Treat Studios. It will be a circular piece to my collection of uh, Evil Dead merchandise. Uh, now, when they brought this out, they also brought the dagger out. So, uh, they did not have that there. I probably would have bought it. Uh, I will be looking for it though. And I'm pretty sure it's in the hundred or so uh, price range. But I just want to show you guys a closer look of the Necronomicon Ex Morte from Evil Dead 2. If you liked everything, please like, comment, subscribe, and hope to see you guys next time.